Hi folks, this is Max from Nexus4Root.com. So today I'm going to show you how to root your Nexus 4 um, using a Mac computer, OS X computer, OX, OS 10 computer. Um, so let's do this, very easy to do. Um, so first go ahead and go to uh, go to settings here and then uh, go to uh, developer options. If you don't see developer options, go to about phone and just keep hitting build uh, number until it says you're a developer. If you see that, uh, you're a developer, you'll see developer options. Go to developer options, uh, make sure it's on, and also USB debugging is checked on. And what you're going to do is uh, connect it to your Mac OS X computer, all right, via a micro USB cable, like that. All right, and let's go to our computer. Next, you'll need to download a file. I have a link. Um, also, you can just go to downloadandroidrom.com and uh, go browse down to uh, Nexus 4. Click on it. Um, click on Rooting. And inside directory, you'll find Nexus 4 root.zip. Or you can just check out the link on my website. Um, just wait a couple seconds here, and you'll see the download link down here. Uh, go ahead and hit the download link. And this will download uh, all the files you need um, to. Whoops! What happened here? Let's try that again. Click again. Oh. Um. Just try refreshing it. Sometimes this gets a little buggy. There we go. Uh, let me go ahead and download it again. Three, two, one. There we go. Why is it not downloading? Oh, sorry, it is downloading. I just didn't know it. Um, go ahead and open up a folder. Uh, go to your download. Yeah, that's your Nexus 4. Sorry. Let's go ahead and open up a uh, folder here. Go to your downloads folder. Um, let me see. Where is it? Max downloads. Yeah, go to your username downloads here. Uh, and you should have Nexus 4 root. Uh, folder. Now I got four of them because I thought it wasn't downloading. Uh, it was because one of my windows not open. Okay, so go ahead and go into the directory. You'll find all of these files. This should be in your downloads folder. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and back up all of your settings and apps. Uh, that way you won't you'll be able to restore it because when you unlock the bootloader on the Nexus 4, you'll lose uh, it will erase everything on your internal storage. And also go ahead and uh, um, also, do copy over the contents over your Nexus 4. Uh, let me unplug it and plug it back in so you can see. And uh, what's that? That's multi -base. Um, so your your contents. Copy this whole thing and copy it uh, onto your desktop. Make a folder here, and you can just type uh, Nexus 4. Nexus. Bleh. Nexus 4. Sorry, it's on this side here. So Nexus S, whatever. Um, just copy the whole thing over. I'm not gonna do it because uh, I did it before. Uh, but go go ahead and copy over everything to your uh, folder here, and then that way you'll you'll have a backup of everything on your internal storage of your Nexus 4. And uh, later we'll you can copy it back in after you're done. And for settings and apps, uh, we're gonna use ADB to um, back it up. So um, next, what you want to do is go ahead and hit the uh, button here, Applications, and uh, go to Utilities, and hit uh, Terminal, and you get a terminal, and we'll we can do everything in Terminal here, and uh, learn a little bit about Terminal and routing. Um, so next, what you're gonna do is uh, type cd downloads uh, because that's the folder you're in, uh, your username. That's where we'll probably download it. And in downloads, go to Nexus for root, like that. And here, you'll be in this directory with all of these files. Um, next, what you're going to do is uh, let's type ls minus l. Um, OK? And uh, we, you might have to do this, change the permissions if you have to. Uh, do chmod. You can just do it, 755, like that. Uh, chmod space 755 star. That'll change the permissions so you can run every file in this uh, folder. And next we're going to type dot slash uh, fastboot, no, no, sorry, adb dash mac, like that. And then uh, we're going to do uh, devices. All right, this will show us 
this will show us if your uh, Nexus 4 is being detected. Now if you see device, you're all ready to go. Um, next we're going to type adb-mac, uh, same thing, but we're going to type uh, backup, all right? And then we're going to type dash apk, and then space dash all, space uh, minus f, space backup dot ab. This, what this means is basically it will back up everything on your Nexus 4 except for the contents of your internal storage. It's going to back up your apps. Um, that's what dot, dot dash apk is for. It's going to back up your apk uh, files and also minus all will uh, back up all of your system apps and all, all your app data like your, you know, your level 50 on uh, Angry Birds, you know, all of that login information, all that. And go ahead and hit enter, all right? And uh, you'll see if you unlock your phone, you'll see um, if you want to back up data or not. Uh, it's, there we go. You see that? All right, go ahead and hit back up my data. You can put a password if you want to, or if you did a set up password, but probably not. Say backup data, and if you, w if you wish to encrypt the uh, your backups, maybe you have uh, sensitive information, you can enter a password there. Uh, which you can enter upon restoring, but I'm not going to do it um, since I don't really have uh, sensitive information. And a lot of this Facebook apps and stuff, they will reset the password, so you'll have to re-enter the passwords anyways. Um, so this should take uh, anywhere between like a minute to like 10 minutes, depending on how many apps you have. Uh, but mine finished pretty early because I don't have that many apps, obviously, on this phone. Uh, it's kind of a development development phone. So once that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, um, turn off our phone. And we're going to put it into fast boot. Um, so right now you should have everything in your internal storage copied over to a folder uh, on your computer. So that backs up your photos, personal files on your internal storage. And also we've just backed up your uh, apps and app settings. Uh, this will also back up all of your Wi-Fi uh, passwords, you know, stuff like that. So you don't have to re-enter it uh, after rooting your phone. So next, go ahead and power it off. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and put it into bootloader mode. Um, so go ahead, as soon as it's powered off, go ahead and hold down the volume down here. Hold it down and then hit the power button. Well, you know what? It just entered for me here. But uh, you're supposed to, let me show it to you again, because I think the USB cable's in. Uh, what you can do is hold down volume down and the power button together until you see the bootloader. This is the bootloader. Uh, and connect it to your computer again via a micro USB cable. Sorry, it's kind of dark here. And uh, it should say, yeah, it, sh it should say lock there, uh, fast move mode. And let's go back to our computer and we're gonna go ahead and unlock the bootloader. Um, so go ahead and type uh, dot slash fast boot dash Mac uh, space OEM space unlock. This will unlock the bootloader. This will wipe out everything on your internal storage. This will wipe out all your settings and apps, but uh, hopefully you did copy over the contents and uh, made a backup like I did here. And uh, go ahead and uh, hit enter on your computer. And you'll see an option here saying, um, do you want to unlock the bootloader? Of course, say yes. And then um, go ahead and click power. And this will unlock the bootloader. Uh, let's go ahead and start it once. This will basically, uh, you know, reset everything. We're just going to go ahead and sign in once um, because if you don't sign in, the the uh, internal storage is inaccessible. And also we're going to go ahead and copy a file. So I'll be back when this boots. And also you'll notice on the phone, uh, now it says you get the nice unlock sign there, which means your bootlo bootloader has been unlocked. So I'll be back. All right, my phone rebooted. Uh, go ahead and hit start. And you can just skip through all of this uh, for now because you're going to restore all of your stuff so you don't really have to sign in. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and skip everything. And then uh, go ahead, once you get to this point, connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. And uh, shortly you should be able to see uh, Nexus 4 here. Um, you'll see that. And uh, actually, I didn't lose all my stuff for some reason. Um, but you will most likely lose everything. Uh, go ahead and do right click on Nexus 4 root folder uh, and with the CWM blah blah dot zip. 
and copy this file, this file right here, and then paste it, uh, paste it here. Uh, oops. Paste it in any folder. Oops. Now let me try that again. It's uh, what happened? Oh. Right click copy, and uh, it's not letting me paste for some reason here. You know what? Um, just cl just drag it over. That'll work. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag the CWM blah blah dot zip and uh, just anywhere is fine. Um, but since I already have it, uh, it's you know, it I, it's just writing over it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna replace it. Um, but um, if you have trouble connecting to your Nexus 4, go go Google uh, Android File Transfer. If you if you install that, it will connect uh, easily. And if you have trouble even with the Android tra uh, File Transfer, I also have links on my site. Um, what you can do is download uh, AirDroid, and you can connect it to your phone via uh, Wi-Fi also. So there's three different ways, just in case. And uh, once you have this copied over to your Nexus 4, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, put it into bootloader mode again. And we're going to go ahead and flash uh, power off. We're going to flash the uh, Clockwork My Recovery and also root it. That's the actual rooting file. And uh, there we go. Once it's powered off, volume down and power again. Yes, you can do it with one hand if you want. And uh, go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro USB cable again. And then go back to, um, what is it, your, your prompt here. Where's my terminal? Oh, here it is. Uh, so let's go back to the terminal here. And we're going to go ahead and flash the, uh, the recovery that allows you to flash ROMs, um, the rooting files. So type dot slash fastboot dash mac space flash space recovery space uh, type recovery. That's two recoveries, right? After the last recovery, hit the tab button on your key keyboard. The tab button right here. Tab button, right? Hit it. And it will fill in the file name for you. Um, so you don't have to be all like typing all that. And hit enter. And this will flash the recovery. If you get OK, you're all good to go. Let me change the camera angle real quick. And next, what you'll want to do is uh, go down to uh, recovery mode. Hit the power button. This will bring you to the clockwork mode recovery uh, that allows you to install ROMs and all of this stuff. But we're going to go ahead and root our phone. Go to install zip from SD card. Let me zoom that in for you. And uh, choose zip from SD card and go to zero. And uh, go find that file you just copied over. It can be anywhere. I just copied it over to the root directory. So go ahead and hit the CWM blah blah dot zip. Um, this will actually install the uh, super user and SU file which roots your phone. Gives you your phone root abilities. Go back and uh, reboot system now. And it might ask you to fix um, super user. Uh, or it might ask you to fix something. Just say yes. That will what what that does is um, it will allow the uh, CWM recovery to be permanent uh, because with a standard stock Android, um, you know it will actually override on reboot. Uh, but you know, just say yes if you see that. Um, the reason I don't see it on mine because I've I've been rooting this like a bunch of times today, and you know I've already erased it, so it didn't detect it. All right, so it's rebooted. And uh, you'll see that you have Super Use Super SU. So that's your Super User app. Now let's go ahead and uh, restore all of your app settings. Go ahead and connect it to your computer. All right, and let's go to our computer real quick. At this point, go ahead and copy over um, everything. You know, all the internal storage contents you copied over to your hard disk. Copy it back to your Nexus 4 here. Just simply uh, drag. And then uh, once you're done, uh, we're going to simply do the last part, which is uh, dot, oops, you know what? I forgot the most important step. You're going to have to actually go back to your phone. And uh, since it's reset it, uh, go back to settings and go to about phone, go down and go hit build number a bunch of times until it says your developer. Uh, go hit developer options. Make sure developer options is on and hit uh, USB debugging is on and uh, let's go back to our command prompt that's because uh, ADB needs to be 
enabled, USB deb debugging has to be enabled for ADB to actually communicate. So here we're going to type uh, dot slash ADB dash Mac space restore space backup dot AB, which is the file we backed up earlier here. So now we're going to restore it. And uh, go ahead and hit restore. And you'll see uh, restore my data. Go ahead and hit restore my data. And this will get all of your apps uh, settings uh, back. And uh, you should be all good to go. And if, yeah. If there's a uh, encrypted password, you can enter it there also. Um, but that should be done very, very shortly here. And it's restoring all my apps. Um, you get all your wallpapers back, all that good stuff. So, you know, with the latest Jelly Bean 4.2.1, you can actually back up all of your stuff. Um, there's also, yeah, without losing it all, uh, unlike the previous versions. Where'd it go? All right, so I think it's actually done. Um, you can see that I've got all my apps back. And uh, let me just change this camera angle. And there we go. Uh, let me start my Pandora. Yep, my Pandora works. Uh, my password has been restored, so I can go straight to all my music. Um, and all of my apps, my background has been restored. And also my Google Voice is working. Well, I might have to re... Oh, maybe I never set that up. Um, so your apps should have been restored, and uh, you should be all good to go. And also, um, if you had any personal photos, videos, again, you should have copied it over back to your phone and you should be 100% rooted with all of your apps back, all of your settings um, and uh, uh, with root. And you can go ahead and download a rooted app if you want. Um, I actually didn't add a Google account on this one. That's probably why. Um, just go ahead. Oh, you know what? You might have to re-sign in. For Google Apps, you might have to re-sign in. Um, but otherwise, all of your apps should have app data back and uh, you should be all good to go. And that's how you root um, your Nexus 4. Sorry, it's, it's been a long day. Um, and uh, uh, that's it. So go enjoy your Nexus 4 and uh, have a great day. And if you're on the, uh, YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button down there. And uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at nexus4root.com. Uh, we will be updating you once a week with Ram of the Week, Ram of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And uh, I guess that's it. Stay high on Android. And that was rooting using Mac OS. OS X, OS X, whatever you want to call it. All right, see y'all later.